Hi, this is Todd from Source Fabric. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the integrated social media features built into Airtime Pro. Now, if you're unfamiliar with our online radio broadcasting software and would like to give it a try, then go to airtime.pro and start your own free seven day trial. So let's get started. Each Airtime Pro station comes with a responsive radio page. To get there, we go to settings, then radio page. And here you see the station name, description, and below that, links for Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Now these are set by default to Source Fabric and Airtime Pro's uh, social media channels, but you can easily change those just by replacing it with whatever your Facebook page is. Then hit Save. And when we go to your actual radio page, hit, uh, just refresh that. And then when I wave it over the Facebook icon, you can see in the lower left corner uh, the address that your listeners will go to when they click that icon. You can also remove any of these icons easily just by deselecting uh, the link. If you don't want YouTube, for example, just deselect that, save it, and go to your radio page and refresh. And you see the uh, YouTube icon is gone. So we highly recommend signing up and maintaining an active presence on all three of these as it's the best way to promote your station and find the widest possible audience. Airtime Pro also has deeper integration features that allow your station to directly interact with these platforms. So for Twitter, you go to Settings, General, and at the bottom of the page, you'll find the Twitter settings. There they are. And hit the Connect with Twitter button to authorize access to your account. Go through those steps there. And then once you've done that, you can choose to auto-tweet at the start of every show or at the start of every track. Now, these messages can be customized using these metadata template fields you can craft uh, messages that are on target with your station's branding. You can also tweet directly from Airtime by clicking on this Twitter icon. Uh, it's always on the top of the user interface. And this lets you, your DJs and collaborators, interact with the audience while they're doing their shows. And your listeners can also share your station and programming with their own social media followers by clicking the share button on your radio page click that and then if they want to share with their Twitter followers. There's an auto tweet there and it has your uh, song that's playing and your station address. They can do the same thing with Facebook. Also, they can send uh, messages by email to individuals by clicking this email icon. And for Facebook, we have a special widget that allows your fans to listen to your station from your Facebook page. To set this up, let's go to Widgets, Facebook, and you see a preview as, of the player as it will appear on your Facebook page. So click Add to my Facebook page and follow the directions to set it up. One caveat though, Facebook recently changed their policy on third-party apps. So for this to work, you'll need to sign your station up as a community page or a business and have 2,000 followers. Now let's look at three other social media integrations that are built into Airtime Pro. They are TuneIn, Spinatron, and SoundCloud. Now these are more targeted platforms that specifically focus on music and audio content. To find them, we go to Settings, General, and there you find TuneIn Settings, Spinatron, and SoundCloud. Once you have a TuneIn account, they'll give you a partner key, which you input here. And for Spinatron, an access token, which goes there. For both of these, you want to publish track metadata so that your content is discoverable. 
for SoundCloud, once you've signed up, just click the Connect with SoundCloud button and follow the steps there. SoundCloud is an excellent way to get your programming out to the online masses. When you publish a show or podcast on Airtime Pro, you can also, with one click, publish it to SoundCloud. Just make sure that you have all the rights to the content you share there, as they're very strict about copyrights. TuneIn carries more than 100,000 radio stations and claims 75 million active users, so it's a great place to be. They've recently limited the sign up of new stations, so check with them to see when they offer windows for submitting applications. And Spinatron, which is mainly focused on US based college and community radio stations. It's an incredible music discovery tool in its own right, as you can see what hundreds of stations are playing at any given time. And that's pretty neat. So that's going to do it. Each of the six social media platforms we looked at today are easy to set up and use an Airtime Pro. For more information, visit us at www.airtime.pro. Thanks for watching.